platform, my name is Emily Barr and this is my new book, The Girl Who Came Out of the Woods. This is the story of a girl called Artie who's 16 and she was born in a tiny, tiny little community in the forests in India. The clearing, her, her village, was set up by idealistic backpackers from all over the world who wanted to get away from the modern world and, and live differently and they've done it, they've done it for 20 years. They have a celebration once a year to commemorate the day that they founded it. Um, each year they're, they're celebrating really the fact that they're still there, that everything still works. For their celebration, they get their luxury, which is dairy milk. Somebody goes out to the village and comes back with a lot of dairy milk. Um, Artie loves dairy milk. It's her favorite part of the year when she gets to eat chocolate. Mainly they eat vegetables that they grow and, um, and lentils. So dairy milk is very exciting. So the lovely people at Penguin Platform have asked me what luxuries I would have if I were to set up my own little rural community in India shut off from the rest of the world, which I might do, you never know. First of all, my book, I would like to take a lot of things to read. So I would take Hilary Mantel's books, Warpool and Bring Up the Bodies, and hopefully the third one that she will have finished before I do this. They are big long books and I would love to reread them. I think you could read them lots and lots of times. If I'm allowed to take a complete works, I would take a complete works of Agatha Christie because I just love Agatha Christie and mysteries. They were the books that got me into reading thrillers and writing thrillers. When I was about 10, my mum gave me an Agatha Christie book called Why Didn't They Ask Evans? And I can vividly remember reading the twists at the end and being like, oh, books can do this, they can surprise you and amaze you and I, I went all sort of shivery and I thought this is what I want to do, I want to, I want to write books like this, so I'd like some Agatha Christie as much as I'm allowed. Music wise, I would very much like to take some Leonard Cohen because I love Leonard Cohen, I went to see him several times when he was on his last tour and I was very very sad when he died, so it's all poetry and I just love it, I could listen to it to his music forever, so I would like to, I think. And I would also like to take a song called To The Brink by a band called I Am Clute because my fiance, Craig, played it to me when we first got together and it's, um, it, to me, a very romantic song, so I would like to take that as well. Luxuries wise, this is probably a very writery thing to say, but I would like to take a lot of paper and a lot of a lot of pens please so that I could just write lots and lots and lots of books while I was there. Rather than the dairy milk, I think my um, my chocolate my chocolate luxury of choice would be some Reese's peanut butter cups. Lots and lots of them please. So with all of that stuff I would quite like it in my little my little one woman community. So those were my luxuries for my little remote community. What would yours be? Please tell us, we'd love to know. Um, leave it in the comments below.